imagine you get a lot of messages because, like, let's be real, you're fire, but there's a word for it. Racism. Okay, so, sort of what goes down in the DMs with you, Sonny. Okay, let me pull up Being some. a bit of a, you know, Insta model, I'm sure you've had some interesting DMs, so. Usually something I racist, guess. sexist, or around that. That's just our everyday conversation. <laughs> yeah, but this is like actually serious from someone, you know, okay. trying to get my attention. And they thought being sexist or racist would get my attention. Nice. Good for them. All right, so weirdest DM you've received from a guy. Oh, from someone in jail, actually? <laughs> it's from someone in jail. Rest in peace. So the weirdest DM you had is from a guy in jail. Hey yo, what the fuck? Yeah, okay. How, first of all, how does he have access to a phone? I have no idea. You know when you're like on top of the food chain in prison, you get oh, access okay. to things. And I'm imagining like this person is from America. I don't know. I don't know how other you countries don't just work. Talk with, uh... I don't talk to them. No, but you don't talk with the <laughs> fucking little ones in jail. You're talking with the big girl. Okay. They okay. want to talk to me. I don't talk to them. Okay. Anyway, this is what... Okay, how it goes. I imagine you get a lot of messages because, like, let's be real. You're fire. But I thought I had to try and hit you up. Okay, look, I'll be real with you. I am sat up in jail right now. And honestly, it's the best policy of all that I want to be honest with you. I hope I haven't put you off just from that. <laughs> Um, I love the honesty, so. Like, I can send a pic through, uh, to you, whatever you want. My name is Jordan. Hi, Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't murder us. We, we, uh, we live in Brixton. Uh, um, but that's fucking ballsy. I love the confidence of that guy. But so you replied, like, are you going for a date? No, I, I don't reply to things. What did he look like? What does he look like? I don't know. I blocked his stuff. This uh -huh. is like on my Finsta. I show my friends. Uh, he's literally, I can see the message right here and he's written an absolute paragraph. Yeah, I know. There's another one, like the racist kind. It's always like, oh, you look like China. You look like China, not Chinese, but you're so beautiful. As in like, they're what? assuming that Chinese people don't look nice. Why do they think that's like, first of all, why do they think that's okay? And second of all, like, you're not from China. I'm not. Boys, get your geography. Correct. Like, <laughs> you're gonna be racist. Do it fucking right. But anyway, it's just no. Don't. If there's any fucking idiots watching this, do not send shit like that. I don't know if you're thinking like negging. Do you know what negging is? What is it? Negging. So it's like when you say like, oh, you look really good. Have you lost five pounds? Oh yeah, so like, yeah, yeah. Insult someone. What is it called? Whilst giving them a little bit of a compliment. Like a. There's a word for it. Negging. No, no, like. In England, it's called negging. Okay. But yeah, that was just like racism. And Have you got any other ones? Oh, cool. Mm-hmm. Someone commented on my post one time, like, "The fuck you trying to show? Flat." He commented that first, and then went to my DMs and said the same thing. I look flat. I'm like, okay. I'm pretty sure I'm not that flat, but I wouldn't say I have a big ass. <laughs> How big was his ass? I have no idea. But his name is also Jordan, another Jordan. Yeah, he looks like a typical, doesn't get out the house. Looks like that was taken on like a, an I, iMac Photoshop, photo booth picture. No, it looks like it's from a car though. There are seat belts. He also looks about 40. But we have had conversations about this, about how my bum is bigger than yours. Yeah. And she's incredibly jealous and insecure about it. So don't call Not really. Not. Cool. I think I'm proportional to my size, let's say that. <laughs> <laughs> if I have Jamie's ass, it's done for. What do you think of the monster right now? This is the first time Sunny's ever had a white monster. You guys know, literally, this is my favorite drink. I have it every day at like 7 a.m. because I'm a crackhead. But this like, is nice, tastes like lemonade. Yeah, it tastes like lemonade, zero sugar. We are not sponsored, but I wish we were. I call it the nectar of the gods because it's just fucking <sighs> beautiful. Yeah. Honestly, if it was between having sex and this, I'd take both. But it'd be very close, to be honest. <laughs> okay, so, who's the most... Oh, wait, other yes, oh, I want to say this one. All the weirdos are sending DMs. No, this one, I like it because it's so weird, but also romantic in a weird way, basically. Gosh, you're so beautiful. Oh, this person is verified. <laughs> okay. Gosh, you're so... verified now, I... but... No, 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 this is like before. Oh, this okay, is before, before the like verification. Your hash, your yeah. Pick. Gosh, you're so beautiful. I would literally drag my balls across Legos and the Sahara Desert hot, just hot, to hot, meet hot. you. Hot, 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 hot. I was like, damn, that is what? weirdly romantic. 
But why is his brain go from Lego <laughs> to Sahara Desert? Like, are they interlinked in his brain? What's it like to hold the hand of someone you love? Interlinked. Interlinked. Uh, no, maybe it's just like, I would drag my balls through painful things just hurt. to find you. That would really hurt. You think? I'm thinking about the Lego, like, that would really hurt. Yeah, Did you, you responded to that one. Oh no, this is the, another one. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, I, I so didn't guys, respond. Dragging your balls through Lego does not get a response from an Instagram model. Although I would reply, I was just too lazy. It it's like creative though. Mm-hmm. I, I like that. Like, yeah, yeah. You're more likely to get a response if you're creative rather than just fucking hey, you're beautiful. Yeah, this one I replied to because it's so lame. Okay, he said. Wait, why are you showing them my message? Huh? Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I did reply to you though. Yeah, I don't know yeah. what you said. Are you a parking ticket? Cause you've got fine written all over you. Looking for your next daddy? I'm like, bro, that is Look so. Your next daddy. <laughs> yeah. That, first of all, the first part is so overused. Like, so I replied just to give him shit. Like, are you 40? Because that pickup line is ancient. That's what I said. Like, you think that would work on me? I heard of that like 80 times. That's literally in the book. Of yeah. Lines. Just like, are you with NASA because you're so out of this world or some shit like that? That is so. Did it hurt when you fell from heaven, sort of? Vibe? Yeah, that vibe. What did you say back to that? There was the... another message there, I thought. No, I did not reply back. I just blocked. Oh, you blocked. So he probably did reply back. Okay. No, I didn't block. I just moved him to general. You know, on yeah. Instagram, there's primary and general. What's that one? You got recognized last night? So I just want to say, uh, anyone that's got my number, just please delete it. I have no time for you anymore. Uh, please don't message me because you won't get a reply. Life's changed now. Yeah? Love. Yeah. What's that about? I got recognized in Denmark. I was just like going out with my friends at night and then there's this really shy guy just kept looking at me. I was like, uh, do you have a problem with me? I was like, well, why Why are you staring? And then he, he just like said my name. I'm like. Run. What the heck? Mm. I just thought he saw me on Tinder or something like that. And then. That's weird. If someone said my name, like, and I didn't know them, I'd be like. Run. Kind of odd. Yeah, and then especially if I was a girl, I'd be like, "What the fuck?" Yeah, I was like, "Run." Weird. I was with my ex too, so. Oh, and I was on Tinder because we were in an open relationship. Just saying. Uh. <laughs> and um, and then so he texted me. I knew I've seen you before. Sorry for the awkwardness last night. <laughs> no, 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 no. Why? To Okay, creepy to double down on it, but did he just say your name and like run off? It was like Sunny and then just fucking ran off. No, did we he were say Sunny and he came up and spoke. No, we were in the parking lot and then him, he was with his friends, a yeah. lot of girls actually, and they were just looking at me the entire group. I was like, damn, they want to fight or something. <laughs> and then the girl. Sunny throws hands, by the way. I do. She's scrappy, fucker. <laughs> scrappy and then they came up to me the girls like i think the girls were trying to hook me up with that guy i think he said my name without me even introducing my name and i was like oh that's weird because i was with my boyfriend back then i was like okay cool that is odd you didn't reply to him either no no i i think i did i'm not sure i think i did how did this guy look like was he cute or is that not your type at all? he's not my type he looks like he could be my cousin <laughs> Okay, so why? Um, <laughs> so yeah. in, terms of, in terms of, let's let's paint a scenario for you here. Let's say, I don't know, someone you really fancy did that, said your name. Are you responding to them? Well, well in that scenario, am I still with my boyfriend? <laughs> you know about that. Get rid of the boyfriend, you're with your friends, and someone says Sunny, but they know of you, they know but of they're really hot. You're really attracted to them. Do you still, like, what would you do? Um, how hot? Like a 8 out of 10, 9 out of 10. He's the best looking in the club. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, and then let's say for whatever reason, he said your name, ran off, and you're like- you Ran it. off? Like, oh, first of all, off. that guy did not run away. I know, but I'm just saying, let's say he said your name, sprinted off. I would you just think- You were just like, what the fuck, who said my name? And I just think that it's day, a prank. And then the next day, you get a message from that guy saying, Oh, I saw you in the club. Uh, <laughs> and you ran Now, away. what are you thinking? Do you think that's creepy or do you think that's like... No, I don't... I feel like, okay, I'm gonna... I know I just asked the question, I'm a bit of a dick, I'm gonna answer it myself. I think... Bruh. It's called... <laughs> she always rolls her eyes when I talk. I did not roll my eyes, first I of all. I think you get... It's called like... 
the benefit of being pretty, right? So you can get away with more shit when you're good looking. And I think if they're good looking, this is what I'm assuming you'll say, and I think this is what a lot of girls do, is if you're good looking and you did that, you can get away with it because obviously you're handsome and they find you attractive. But if you're just like a normal guy, average guy, people label you as a creep. No! <laughs> I still reply to you. Yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> what would you say to the good looking guy? No, I would just be like, oh, you were so weird last night. You said my name and ran away. What's your issue? I mean, I w I'm not engaging in conversation. Then in my brain, if you send me that message, I'm in. My foot's in the door. Yeah, I mean. Like, we're already getting married in two weeks time. Nice. And that's your issue. For me, I just like, I reply to a lot of DMs actually. Like I reply to funny ones. I don't care what they look like. That's I don't, we met. yeah, because it was funny. Like I don't look at people's profiles. When they're funny, I reply to them. I don't care who they are, what they look like. I just reply because it's funny. Someone asked, someone actually DM'd me like, I can bark. I was like, okay, bark for me then. And then he sent me an audio barking. I was like, I was dead. <laughs> Show us the bark. Um, okay, so we've done sort of weirdest DM. Who is sort of the most famous people who've stayed in your DMs? I'm not gonna name names, but name they're, names. no. Name names. They're football players. You Honestly. know him. Oh uh, yeah, I do know him. Um, multiple British YouTubers that are apparently big, but I, I don't know them. <laughs> I, yeah. don't, I don't know any British He's, people, uh, to be fair. I'll just elaborate on that. I won't name him, but he is a big YouTuber in Britain. Oh, exactly what oh. I just said. <laughs> <laughs> um, He's probably like top, I'd say he's top five, top 10 mm -hmm. biggest British YouTubers, yeah. For real? And he also looks like me. Oh! Mm -hmm. When I'm lean. Yeah, that's why I didn't reply. Uh. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, he's a real big name in the British YouTube space. Um, and you didn't reply. Mm -mm. You could have been set. I don't care. I don't reply to DMs. But we were talking about this. I don't think like Asians would be his type. I think he like probably yeah. likes basic white girls. I agree. So footballers, some big YouTubers, some rappers, some big DJs. What like level rappers and DJs? To be fair, I don't know a lot of rappers and a lot of DJs. Yeah, because I'll see like a rapper with like a million followers and I have no clue who the fuck they are. Mm. Or like yeah, to be 300K fair, yeah. K and I'll, I won't know. Yeah, exactly. And the DJ, I actually know him. Like, like, he's okay. big. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Who else? I mean, there's a lot of verified people, yeah, but- Yeah, you get like a lot of like other models sliding in and stuff like that? Yeah, I, w I don't like entertaining models. <laughs> Why is that? <laughs> not my type. <laughs> Go a bit deeper on that. Why are they not your type? No, because I think models are very gorgeous looking people. They're very symmetrical. The surface level. Yeah, I mean, it thing. is, but like for men, if like a male model slides into my DMs, then I don't think I would entertain that because they're pretty boys and <laughs> pretty boys aren't my type. But like if like a female model, though, slide to my DMs, I would entertain that <laughs> if she's shorter than me. <laughs> Wait, how tall are you again? I'm 5'6". Let's say 5'6". I think that's a good height. My perfect height for a girl would be like 5'7". I'm 6'2", so I think 5'7 is like perfect height for a girl. I think once you go under 5'4", you're starting to get a little bit short. But we don't discriminate on this channel. We like all height, unless you're like taller than me if you're wearing heels, that's just fucking weird. <laughs> you just said you don't discriminate. Yeah, well, I do discriminate <laughs> someone who's taller than me, you can fuck off. Oh, because it hurts your ego so that's bad? That's my ego, go date a basketball player. They'll probably be able to support you financially better than me anyway. Oh, yeah, I had, like, basketball players in my DMs, too. Oh, really? I don't know them. Well, like, British League or, like, No, NBA? no, no, not British. Like, NBA? Like, lower tier? I NBA? have no idea. As in American basketball player. I don't know, I don't remember. It was, like, a few years ago. Okay, probably NBA player. And have you responded to some of these DMs? No, I don't respond to DMs. Like, the first time I actually responded to the DMs was with the football player. Yeah, and he'd been trying a while. Yeah, just a year. <laughs> so, if you you got to be consistent, fellas. you got to be consistent. Um, Only a year. If you can't wait for me. sort of like, we're friends. Nice. It's obviously because I rejected her, but... Yeah, right. Um, <laughs> I even, like, probably went back and forth with you. For like a year probably didn't get a response from you from like my first couple of messages and then we just had a laugh and then i don't know it was weird how we met we just sort of no because like we just started chatting over one week just laughing at how fucking me. midlife crisis we were both in sort of and then and then obviously you happened to be in london as well so we just 
hung out. But she was petrified, like, she would not meet one-on-one. -on -one. She wanted, like, a big group there. Everything. Yeah, because how would I, I know you're not a serial killer? Like, to be fair, like, as I told you, I only reply to funny DMs. Yeah. I reply once, and that's it. I put them in general. I just want them to know that they're very funny, and they should keep trying that with other girls just to, like, help them up. But, like, I would not reply to big people with, verif like, verification, because mm -hmm. I obviously know that they know how to get pussy. I don't need to help them more than that. So I don't reply to people. I don't meet up with people from Instagram. Although you're the second person I met from Instagram. I met another friend through Instagram as well. And you're good friends with mm -hmm. Yeah, so yeah, guys, just don't be a creep in the DM. Yeah, but be consistent though. Well, I guess that's what, yeah, be consistent, but don't... It's hard though, there's that line, right? Like if there's a little bit- Oh, not like text me every day and yeah, stuff like that. That's what I'm getting at. Like if there's a bit of engagement back, like she likes some, if she follows you back and she likes some of your stories and stuff, like even if she's not replying to your messages, I feel like there's still some, might not be level of like interest in a intimate relationship, but like- You can be finds, friends. Nice. Yeah, you can be friends. She can find you kind of funny and like stories and stuff. But if you're just sending her messages every day or like <laughs> every week, like that's just weird. And you're getting nothing in return. Like you need to chill out. Stop I, putting this girl on a pedestal. We've all done it though. There's always some insta thought who we think is really fit and we just do that. But anyway, I could go on a tangent on this sort of stuff, but um, yeah, just be consistent, but like make sure there's some sort of engagement back. I would yeah. Say. I get like DMs from this guy every single day. He would text me like, good morning, good night, good evening. Good evening. Like all that shit and it also sends me memes. I'm like, oh God, I oh, would never watch it. A lot of girls like memes being sent to them though. But I don't watch it. Like <laughs> we don't have the same humor, you know? Like I get it, it can be funny if we have the same humor, but he's sending some old man humor to me. I'm like, I don't get it. Uh, <laughs> it's not me. I'm too lazy. I don't send memes, I'm way too lazy. Like, if you get a meme from me, I like you because I'm like fucking lazy with that shit. I don't have time. You need to crop that shit out. I don't want liquid splash on my face. I told you, we're doing the casting couch afterwards. Like, we'll leave a spit. Save the spit reserve, right? <sighs> um, but anyway, so I, I guess the other question I was thinking, which you've sort of already answered, is have you ever gone on a date with a guy who said into your DMs? Well, you sort of answered that, haven't you? Recently. yeah but that's just once just one guy Tw twice. twice my ex-boyfriend actually slid into my dms so sliding into dm does work sometimes what would be like the advice <laughs> apart from being funny obviously <laughs> they need to be attractive okay my my guy. ex wasn't funny <laughs> yeah he's not a funny person but his approach is very interesting. His approach was very interesting because like obviously I like DMs that are different from other kinds of DMs. He he literally just texted me, can you fill in this survey? And this was before I had any following. I was okay. private too. And um, he asked me to fill in a survey. And I was like, okay, sure, nerd. <laughs> and then I did fill in the survey. He sent me a screenshot of the contact page, you know, like, yeah. and then so I had to fill up my name and my phone Why number. Why did you fill in the survey? I don't, I don't know. That was actually weird. No, but to be fair, I don't know why I even replied, to be fair. I don't know. Because you actually decent game, though. Because he's got her number that point. Yeah. But I'm a creep. And, yeah, but, but that's I, like something I'd do in recruitment, like trick you into giving me your social details and then like... But it worked. Yeah, it but, worked, yeah. But that was like during COVID. I was locked in my house. I was bored. I was juggling 10 hoes. Now, you. Not actually doing anything, just like talking to 10 people because I need like, I had like a roster of people I would call every hour because I'm like so bored. I'm a very social person. I so like, like the female version of me. Yeah, so I need to be, I have to FaceTime people all the time. So I have like, I don't do that shit anymore. Yeah, I, I don't do that shit anymore. I'm too tired for that. But yeah, that was during COVID. That's why I needed that. Okay. Yes, guys. Thank you for watching. That is a clip, a small clip from my new podcast. This week's guest was Sunny, who is a Instagram model and a good friend of mine. And yeah, we've got more guests on the way. But if you want to see more from that episode with Sunny, then click the link down below. And I'm tagging it in this video now. The full episode is out now. Go check it out.